Well, shooters and reloaders, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you again from the Hot Lead Zone. And it's time for another one of those boxes from Midway USA. Like Christmas in August. So, what have we got in here? Well, let's start off with, looks like we got three of these nice MTM reloading trays. They're universal and good to load any number of things can use this side too and there's two different sizes of cartridges that can be reloaded with this tray on this side. Can hang those up. So we got three of those and these make great gifts. Not too expensive, like they're six dollars each. And of course we got a new Lee bullet mold. Now this one happens to be in eight millimeter caliber. Get that in focus. Three twenty-four diameter, one hundred and seventy-five grain, and it's a flat round nose, gas check design. So open that up, and it's a two cavity mold because that's what Lee rifle molds are. And there you go, eight millimeter bullets. Should be good. And of course we got a couple of sets of Lee reloading dies for the eight millimeter. One has a collet sizing die in it and the other has a full length sizing die in it. But we got a shell holder in here and also a dipper in the yellow box. So here we have the Lee RGB die set and it has the full length 8 by 57 millimeter full length sizing die and a bullet seating die. But these are reasonable because there's no shell holder, no dipper, nothing else. Just the two dies. So I'm ready to go with full length resizing for the Mauser rifle, but over here we have the Lee two die set for the 8 millimeter Mauser that includes the collet sizing die and another bullet seating die. So unfortunately I had to buy it this way to get the collet die so I got one it with two bullet seating dies and there's no crimping die, the factory crimp die. Well we got a shell holder and a powder dipper there. So why Lee doesn't set this up in a four die set, I don't know. Why I wound up having to spend an extra ten dollars to get this and I don't have a factory crimp die. But it's okay. We don't need to crimp the eight millimeter Mauser anyway. So we're ready to go with the reloading. Now we got a big bag in here of MEC wads. They are their MEC 11 8 T4 and they're 12 gauge 1 and 1 8 ounce wads and it's a substitute for the Winchester W the Winchester double A 12 wad but uh, let's have a look at some of these these wads are stark white they're nice and firm so when you compress it it's a very strong section here for the compression zone and then when you check out the base it doesn't bend easily there's no impediments in there for a slug to go in. We're buying these for slugs, of course. So either the 1 ounce, the 7 8 or the Lyman 525 should fit in these. So uh, another uh, wad for us to try. And maybe we'll be able to get some good combinations for accuracy with this one. Especially with long shot powder. 
So these are the MEC wads from Midway. And then finally, we have here a BSA tactical scope. It is the 6 to 24 power side focus BSA tactical scope. Has a fully adjustable for focus eyepiece, the power ring, the side focus from 10 yards all the way out to infinity. Then it has some nice target turrets for elevation and windage. Fully coated optics. And I like the BSA pistol scope so much I decided to give this one a try. Of course it is made in China, but not everything made in China is junk. This looks like a pretty good scope. Give you a preview of it. It's well packed. Has a sunshade. Comes with a set of rings. And it's a 30 millimeter tube. We'll do a review on this, but there you go. Another order from Midway USA came very quick. Took them like four or five days to get it here. And uh, good service from Midway USA as usual. See you next video. Bye for now.